Well, that's interesting. I haven't looked at the forecast. What time is it? 10 to 8. I've been up quite a while. I'm in a lot of pain. Pretty sky. So we might have to move in a minute. Um, yes, I'm number 90. Tough. Um, I, it's now Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's now day six of this. And it is incredibly painful. Um, I woke at quarter to three and took codeine and paracetamol, which does take... I don't know, 30, 40% of the edge off it and allows me to sleep. Um, but the problem is I'm limited to eight a day and that's not quite enough. You know, I'm having to leave long gaps between to get me over a 24 hour period. So I was awake again at quarter to six. So that's quarter to three, quarter to six. It's too soon for the next lot of um, codeine and paracetamol. I took an ibuprofen that in this last few days I've not really noticed the um, that they've made a difference but I know that it has, it has helped a bit. I have um, emailed my doctor because I've just taken, I've got 12, 12 amoxicillin tablets, I've just taken tablet 6. Um, and I've said to him, I would have expected there to be some improvement, some impact, and I'm not feeling a response at all. Um, I'm in a lot of pain. It's waking me in the night. I'm awake every morning at three in the morning. I take the codeine and paracetamol, and that actually allows me to sleep. I'm having a lot of problems swallowing, and I am choking on food, I'm choking on liquids, I'm choking on my own saliva. Um, I'm not right now because I'm not, I'm being really careful and I haven't just been eating or just been drinking. Um, so I feel that my epiglottis is compromised and it's not working properly. So it's not protecting my airway um, as it should do when I'm eating. So it, it's quite anxiety provoking um, to start choking and wondering, you know, I, I worry that I'm going to block my airway. It, it's really, really horrible. <clears throat> so anyway, I've emailed my doctor and hopefully he'll come up with a plan. I've said to him, eight codeine and paracetamol is not enough in 24 hours. Um, so, I, you know, on I have to lengthen the, the the gap during the day to just get me through so that I know that I can take some at 11 before I go to bed and know that I can take some when I wake up at three in the morning then after that I'm limited I, you know, it's how I manage the other two doses so the ibuprofen I took about an hour ago has has, has improved things and I'm going to hang on until I really need to before I take the next um, codeine and paracetamol. And I think to myself, I'm, I'm really lucky. I could be Percy, who's got TB of the throat, which is, I've never heard of that before. And um, how worrying that he's had it as long as he's had it. I do hope that, um, that he, you know, gets the treatment he needs and that he makes a good recovery because... I haven't been looking because I don't really watch those, don't watch those vlogs any longer. But people on Tattle have been saying how unwell he's looked or how frail he's looked. And I've kept saying, but he's in his 80s and people do begin to look frail, you know, in their 80s. But obviously there's been something going on for him. So I wish him well. Get well soon, Percy. So, yeah, in the scheme of things, it could be worse. I could be in his situation and I'm not, I hope. So um, I'm hoping that my doctor will send me some other prescription um, to fill, you know, that will give me um, 
some alternative pain relief. I don't know what he can give me though. Um, he doesn't like me taking ibuprofen um, because I'm on steroids. I shouldn't take ibuprofen, but sometimes I have to resort to that when I've got no nothing else. So we'll see what happens. I would have thought the antibiotics would have made an impression now, but they haven't. Um, it's Vicky was here yesterday. She's cleaned for me, which is nice, or cleaned for us. And um, the man came yesterday afternoon and we fixed the the shutter that had the the pin that holds it, the hinge pin had come out. So he's refixed that. Um, don't know why that had come out because none of the others have. It was just this one had come out. So I had to leave those closed all day, all afternoon, and it's raining, unsurprisingly. Um, and the weather forecast today, it's supposed to be 34. It's warmed up considerably. We had doors and windows open yesterday, warming the house up, because we've been so cold. Um, but when I got up this morning, it was 18 out here. And the last few mornings, it's been quite autumnal, like 11, 10. Oh, I can't yawn properly, that hurts. Um, my son and his family are flying off to Canada tomorrow. Um, so I'm excited to see their photos. They are going to um, take themselves to Niagara for a few days. So that'll be nice. Looking forward to that. Um going over to if I feel well enough I'm going to go over and meet we're going to go over and meet Jo at her house um, on Saturday and see what needs doing um, she isn't planning to rent it out again she's planning to move back into it I think well no I know she's planning to move back into it so it's important really to get stuff sorted so she can move back in and start afresh because I just find it when, for me, um, I'd find it quite toxic, you know, when somebody's been and in, in my house and, and done what he's done. It, it, I'd feel it would feel toxic until I'd got it really cleaned and um, di changed. Um, so yeah, Ida. When I was up this morning, it was what was it called? To six, half five, called to six. Really loud, calling me, calling me. I left the door open and she comes and stands on the doormat. Um, there's chains there, these like these ones here, fly chains. And um, I think without those in autumn and winter, I think she'll be through because she's very close. But she just kept calling me for ages. And in the end, I went and um, I went down to let the chickens out. I don't know what she wanted. I kept talking back to her, but that wasn't what she wanted. Um, she's laying down in her usual spot now over by the fence. But if this rain continues, I don't think she'll be there. So that's it. We don't have anything to do today, thank goodness. And I, I do actually, apart from the pain of swallowing, I think there might be a slight improvement. It doesn't feel like that, does it, at three o'clock in the morning when you're awake? Well, when you're awake at half oh, five in the morning. It doesn't feel like that, but actually... Maybe it's getting better. I just need some effective pain relief and, and a, pen, a, a, a effective non-choking relief. That that would be the thing. It's, I find it really worrying when I start choking. Um, anyway, so that's me and my nighty in the rain. Very light rain. Yeah, me and my nighty in the rain on... Thursday, the whatever it is, the 10th of August, I think it is today. And you'll get this this morning, I expect, if it uploads quickly. So have a nice day. <laughs>